Today we're going to show you how to export out of Avid Media Composer as an AAF file and open that within Pro Tools. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I'm in um, Avid Media Composer at the moment. As you can see, I've got my timeline and I'm ready to send this to Pro Tools. So. The first thing I'm going to do is duplicate my sequence and put it into a new bin. So if I go to File, New Bin, and I'm going to uh, rename it Export for Pro Tools, and then I am going to Alt drag my sequence into the new bin that creates a copy of it. Next thing I am going to do is open that sequence so I'm not working from my original sequence. And I'm going to add a new video track to the timeline. I'm also going to make sure that the uh, the top track is visible and what we're going to do now is add some um, time code in uh, but first before I do that I'm just going to um, cut down my sequence a little bit um, just to make this a shorter sequence to export just to make things quicker Okay, so I'm just working with a, a short sequence now. Um, and like I say, we're going to um, add some time code. So, so if we go to our preferences, then we can see the effects panel there. Okay, and we're actually looking for a time code burning effect, which is under generator. We find our time code burn in, drag that down onto the empty track. Once you've done that, if you switch to effects layout or effects editing, then that should bring you up the effect editor window here where you can customize the effect. Um, you've got various display options. We're going to use three of them. So the top display option there, display number one, uh, we're going to leave that as time code. But if we click on display two, under the drop down menu there, we're going to change that um, from the default to say source time code. And then on display number three, click the drop down there, we're going to show the source clip name. Okay, when you've done all that, you can close down your effects panel. And next we're going to export um, our sequence as a reference movie file. 